happy Easter everyone, I hope you are having a really good weekend, it is sunny, it is lovely, it is warm, everything that everybody wants, um, but not in a lockdown, <laughs> um, which is unfortunate because like, you can't go to the beach, you can't go to the park and see your friends and have a beer on the beach and you know, it's um, it sucks, but it's nice at the same time. So today I'm really excited because I'm doing a brown smoky eye today. Now as you can see I've already done my base, um, so I've put my foundation on and my bronzer. Um, I haven't done blush or highlighter yet, I'm going to do that after my eyes. Um, but I've done my eyebrows as well as you can see, my bushy eyebrows. <laughs> if you uh, do like this video please give this video a thumbs up. Let's get straight onto the video. So as you can see I have already done my base as I've said already um, so I chose a new foundation today so I've um, chosen the NARS Sheer Glow in the colour Mont Blanc and this is absolutely the most am amazing coverage you'll ever find in a foundation like this is this is better than like the Becca now I, I, I am sold by this like I'll buy 10 more of these um, so I've used that as my uh, foundation today um, I obviously have used the Becca um, first light priming filter absolutely amazing as well and uh, to set um, the foundation I've obviously used the Candide Revlon powder for bronzer I use the NARS Laguna bronzer and um, this is also my holy grail so shout out to NARS let's get straight onto eyes so today I am using the Morphe 25C. Look at all these beautiful colours. Oh my goodness, I'm really excited to try this out. Well, I've already tried a few colours out, as you can see, but I haven't tried any of the browns yet, I don't think, so I'm really excited to try those out. Um, so today we're going to do a brown smoky eye, so it needs to be nice and like warm tone and like sexy and like you know all that jazz so for my transition shade i'm going to use this color here just this one here there you go and i'm going to take my two three four zoeva brush this is like a flat powder brush there so i'm going to take that brown there oh it's very pigment -tilled. i love that And we're just going to start off with this eye here, move the fringe out, and I'm literally just going to put that in the crease. So I'm just packing that on. So now I'm going to blend that out. So I'm just going to use the uh, Zoeva 228 brush. So I'm just using the light circular motions and just blending out that harsh line there so I've blended that colour out as you can see there it's actually a nice transition shade I like that so I'm just going to use the same uh, two, 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 three, four brush hmm, which colour should I go for I'm going to go for this like ready brown that one's there just there so I'm just gonna take my 234 brush and I'm just gonna pop that in the outer corner so just like this mm. oh that is gorgeous and I'm just gonna take it halfway over the crease So I've just packed that colour on like that and now I'm going to use the same blending brush and again I'm just going to use circular motions just to blend that out. So I've just blended that colour out and as you can see it's lovely and blended. I think I'm going to risk it and go for black, see how it goes. I'm going to go and take my 230 brush and go for the black in the palette, just there, and just take tiny, tiny, tiny amounts first 
and just put it right in the corner and just again packing that colour on as you can see it is starting to blend out now I'm going to take more of this um this ready brown here and just pack that on top and this will help blend out the black and just keep doing that when you're happy with it so that is one eye done and there's no like harsh lines or anything in the black which is what i want so now i'm going to quickly do the next eye and i'll be back with you now i have done both eyes look how smoky i look Ooh. Yes, um, I might do something like in the inner corner here. So I'm gonna um, take another brush. I'm gonna take this um, uh, 226 brush here. So I'm just gonna go in with hmm, either the gold shade or this shade. I think I'm gonna go for the gold. Let's go for the gold. So this color here, just pack that on and let this go in and this shade just literally ties everything together and then let's pack a little bit more on there we go do the other way that's really nice actually that's tied everything together so now um, I'm going to do the under eye, so I'm going to take, not that brush, um, this uh, 234 brush again um, and I'm just going to take uh, this transition shade here, just at the tip of the brush there, dabbing that like that um, and just go under the eye. I'm going to go as close to the lash line as possible. My eyes are watering. Oh, now I'm going to take this maroon brownie shade here, again with the tip of the brush, and just go halfway maybe, and we're just going to take this blending brush here and just blend it out. So now I'm going to do the same to the other eye, so I'm going to take, oh, not that one, just rip that off. I'm going to take this one here, at the tip of the brush, and just go underneath the eye again. And now we're going to take the maroony brown colour, and just go halfway, and blend it out. <laughs> Eyeshadow is done as you can see. Now it's time for eyeliner. So I'm going to take the Rock and Coal um, Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil by Charlotte Tilbury in the colour Amber Moon. Um, and then that's the pencil there. Look how gorgeous that shade is. And I'm just going to put it in my waterline. So eyeliner is done. So I'm going to try out a new mascara today. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I have never tried this mascara before, but oh, look how big the brush is though. <laughs> that is so big. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that for that little pot. <laughs> so I'm just going to do my eyelashes. So I'm just going to put a couple of coats of this on. And then I'll be back. Now the mascara is done. I think I'm going to do the rest of my face now. Let's get on to blush, highlighter and lips. For blush I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic uh, First Love Blush. Now that's a very subtle like light pink um, colour. And I'm just going to use my normal blush, blush brush. <laughs> And I'm just going to swirl that around and just do my cheeks. It's nice actually. 
Now I'm really excited to try this new um, highlighter um, that I haven't tried before. It is the Morphe Highlighter Illuminator in the colour Spark. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera but how freaking gorgeous is that shade? So I'm just going to take my fan brush here and just put a little bit on see how it goes. Mm. I like that. I'm just going to take a little bit of my brow bone. There we go. To the other cheek. Oh, that's literally like glass. I'm also going to take it on the bridge of my nose. And a little bit on the tip. Also on my cupid's bow. Mm, that is gorgeous, that highlighter. My skin is looking fabulous. Now time for lips. So I'm going to take um, this again. This is the uh, Bodyographic uh, Lip Liner in the colour Timber. Um, and I'm just going to line my lips quickly. So now I look a little bit crazy. <laughs> so for lipstick, I'm going to use the uh, MAC satin lipstick in the colour uh, Verve. Is it Verve? Yep, Verve. And it's like this nice like dark nudey colour and I thought I would just go for it because I normally go for like nudes or pinks or reds. I don't normally go for dark colours so it's nice. Uh, I think I'm just going to change it up a little bit. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Kind of goes really nice with the with the dark eyes. I wasn't too sure about it first, but that is the lips. <laughs> and this is the finished look. I am so happy with how this turned out. Like I don't normally go for dark lips or dark eyeshadow. I'm like I was a bit scared at first but I actually really like it. If you do like this makeup look and you want to see more videos like this, please like this video, hit the subscribe button um, and make sure you comment down below if you want to see more videos like this. If you want to comment on um, on any ideas you have for me to do, like more theatrical makeup, comment down below and I will um, spread my wings a little bit more because I, I don't normally go theatrical so um, it be nice to like experiment a little bit more and yes i will see you guys next week for another video bye